Away from that, Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu, who is also the chairman of the Authority of Heads of State and Government of the Economic Community of West African States, has convened another extraordinary summit of the Authority on the Political Situation in the Republic of Niger. The summit will hold on, in Abuja on Thursday, 10th of August. The ECOWAS leaders will be considering and discussing the political situation and recent developments in Niger Republic. This comes after the expiration of the one-week ultimatum issued by the regional bloc to the military coup leaders in Niger to relinquish power and restore constitutional order. ECOWAS also slapped sanctions on the landlocked West African country, which includes a no-fly zone, cutting electricity supply, and freezing the assets of the coup leaders in the region. One of the resolutions reached also includes an option of the use of force if the coup leaders defy the sanctions and hang on to power. But pressure have been mounting on President Tunubu from several quarters to jettison the military option of use of force and continue to explore all diplomatic and political means to resolve the stand standoff. Let's now bring in a State House correspondent who is now in Jibia Town in Katsina State, Femi Akonde. Femi, you have done an extensive report on how um, that closure of the Jibia border, which is the, the border between Nigeria and Niger, but give us an update on how things are playing out in that particular town. Well, I must say the people are apprehensive, apprehensive in this part of uh, the country, especially in the border communities. They do not know what ECOWAS next line of action will be. A lot of them are hearing that uh, ECOWAS is putting boots on the ground. Soldiers will begin to come into, uh, through coming through the border towns to Niger Republic uh, to probably force the. Uh, military coup leaders out of power. But, you know, that is really not the case because we are hearing that ECOWAS has convened a, a meeting on Thursday. But, you know, there's so much um, information and misinformation going around in these communities, uh, getting them scared and apprehensive. But one thing is that the situation has really affected uh, the local economy here. A lot of the people here uh, depend, uh, solely depend on the trans-border trade between Nigeria and Niger Republic. And now with the border closure, a lot of them, their livelihood have been cut off and they are calling on a government and uh, ECOWAS to look for an amicable way of um, resolving this military standoff in Niger Republic. Abbasadine. Now, you know, the president took office, you know, as, as a chairman of the, of the heads of state and government of ECOWAS. I'm not sure he was expecting this development, you know, almost immediately. But it, it looks like not everyone seems to be in support of the use of force. He has written to the Senate, which was not approved. Do we know the, the next line of action from the presidency and how they are reacting to all of this? Yes, uh, I must say, you know, Nigeria shares border with Niger Republic. About five states in Nigeria uh, have common borders with Niger Republic. Uh, you know, be, beyond political borders that exist. These people also see themselves as one. They have um, shared heritage, common ancestry, and all of that. They believe that whatever affects Niger Republic will also have a ripple effect in Nigeria. Earlier today, I met uh, a man who told me that his wife is from Niger Republic. She's a teacher in Niger Republic. His family lives in Niger Republic while he works in Nigeria at the, at the border town in Nigeria. But because of the border closure, he has not been able to see his family for uh, about a week. I know this uh, kind of story resonates among a lot of people at this um, border communities between Nigeria and Niger Republic. So all of this is, uh, big, is, is being put on the table of our President Bola Tenubu. He had that meeting with governors of states that shared border with Niger Republic. We, it, though it was behind closed doors, but we believe that all of these concerns are what they must have tabled before uh, President Bola Tenubu. And let's have in mind that this is not uh, solely President Bola Tenubu's uh, decision. Yes, we know that he's the chairman of ECOWAS, but it's an ECOWAS decision member countries decided on the sanctions to be imposed on Niger Republic, which also includes an option of uh, the use of force if the military coup leaders in Niger Republic refuse to relinquish power. So President Bola Tinubu will have to again consult with the ECOWAS heads of state and government before they can determine their next line of action. And thankfully that meeting has been convened for Thursday, Abbasadeh. 
And we're all waiting to um, see the next options that they are, they are going to explore. Thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, um, State House correspondent Femi Akonde live for us in Katsina State.